FutureCast. We are looking at a fantastic weekend with a lot of sunshine, low humidity, and no rain in the forecast. Now, this is great news, obviously, for all of those outdoor events. However, not great news for the fire danger. We will be under an elevated fire risk today as uh, we could really use a little bit of rain around here. But as long as we're going to keep away the rain, we might as well do it for the weekend. And that's why it looks great. You get that low humidity even when we have temperatures into the upper 70s, which happens tomorrow. It's still very, very comfortable. So Monday clouds at this point, it looks like the showers stay away. We'll be tracking any changes for that Monday future cast over the weekend, but I'm rather optimistic about Monday for now. And then some summer warmth on the way Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday highs around 80 degrees. Humidity will also increase, so if you've been giving that air conditioner a break, you may have to turn it back on by the time we get to next week. We're going to leave you in the low category on the Eyewitness News Threat Tracker. Of course, we're always tracking, always watching in case anything changes, but really no big storms in sight. We have this in sight. It's beautiful sunshine. Temperatures 46 degrees. Winds are out of the northwest to 8 miles an hour. And notice how our winds staying busy this morning. 8 miles an hour in Pawtucket, 5 miles an hour in Westerly. A little bree breezy here on Block Island with a wind of 12 miles an hour. And the winds may actually increase a little bit into the late morning and early afternoon and they will stay out of that nice direction, that being the west. So that's going to mean that it's going to try to drive this cold air in here, but the sunshine kind of uh, counters that effect. So even though we are actually seeing some 30s in northern New England right now, these 40s that we're seeing in southern New England will turn into the 60s by the afternoon. A lot of sun out there. You can see the front from yesterday and this morning pushes away, so the only effect from that will be that busy wind out of the west. And that will leave us with temperatures like this. 64 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 65 by around 5 p.m. At the coast, it's a little bit cooler with those winds bending around from the southwest by the mid to late afternoon. 63 in Charlestown, 63 westerly, and 63 degrees here in Newport. We get a few miles inland here in Hope Valley, high temperature around 65 degrees. Northern Rhode Island temperatures, low to mid 60s, 63 in Burville and Foster. Situate gets up to 65 degrees and 66 in Johnston. Eastern Massachusetts, a cool but comfy day, 64 in Taunton, 66 New Bedford. Look for around 63 degrees for a high temperature in Middletown. At the beach today, a little on the cool side, but not bad. I mean, at least we'll have the sunshine with us, 63 on average for a temperature. Safe sun time around 15 minutes. It is that time of year where you really need to lather up that sunscreen. Now, as we head towards this evening, because we have very low humidity, it will cool off quickly, just like a dry atmosphere warms up quickly. It also falls with those temperatures at night. So by 8 o'clock, we're at 58 degrees for water fire, 11 p.m. 53 degrees under partly cloudy skies. So a really nice night. Just make sure you bring along at least a long sleeve shirt as those temperatures will start to fall. On Sunday, 78 degrees inland, very low humidity, so it's comfortable. At the beach, we're in the upper 60s to low 70s. And then on Monday, I've become more optimistic about this forecast. Initially, it looked like we may have some rain showers on Monday afternoon uh, for all these uh, ceremonies that will be going on. But right now, I'm just going to give you a hazy cloud sun mix with temperatures in the mid 70s. On Monday, you'll notice humidity increases a little bit, but it's really Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, even into Friday where you're really going to notice that humidity. And on each of those days, starting on Tuesday and Wednesday, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. The best chance over the next seven days would actually be on Thursday. And I'll tell you what, currently, Brian, we are on pace to have the driest May ever. If the month were to end right mm. now, it would be a record. We only need 0 0.06 inches of precipitation to not break that record. But so I'll tell you what, it. you know, next week, it's possible all of those showers miss. So, uh, you know, at some point, it would be nice to get a few raindrops here. No soaking rain in the forecast, though. So that's, that is correct. All right. We'll enjoy today, though. Yes, we will. Sounds good. Pete, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Covering New England for you this morning. An American Air